Hey everybody, XCI here. Welcome back to a blind let's play of Dragon Age Inquisition. Here we have Somli and I have uh, redone a lot of stuff. I redid the last three episodes worth of content in about an hour. So after I uh, fixed something that I hadn't even acknowledged was wrong. <laughs> I had sold my armor. Not only did I not put on my armor <laughs> in order to go and uh, do the all those fights i was walking around without armor at all uh so it was showing formal wear i don't know I don't, listen i don't know why my brain does what it does okay point is then i did a a, a a a purge of all my equipment to get money back and i ended up selling it and then it was too late and that was the extra 20 grand there so like when i said oh like i got 100k now yeah because i sold this armor so then i redid the last uh yeah the last chunk of episodes i had to do the deep roads again I didn't do the two, I stopped it. now I've been sent back, right? Cause then I finished the deep rows, they put you back here. And so now I have to do a round here cause this is all fresh. But what I didn't do is I didn't do the two uh, places, the two Luvian places where the, the guardians are there with the, the treasure chest and the special items. So we'll do that again separately so that we can do a comparison. Cause I was destroying things with this armor on, <laughs> destroying things. I didn't use any here. I'll tell you how far, how is this? I didn't use any supply crates. <laughs> uh that's about all i could that's just saying that will kind of uh indicate just how much it was to see you my friend okay I'll now see you I, later farewell did i do this round before <laughs> stopping a plate i i honestly i now i'm a little bit disoriented i'm not even gonna go and just yes yeah, take things out of the yeah let's talk to cole the equipment stuff anymore i'm gonna leave my equipment alone being for a bit this, being me it's harder but better i like me Meriden laughs at things I say. Okay, some stuff's new. I'm just gonna start singing. Let's check Sarah. Canari first. Mixed with elves. Add dwarfs. Ugh, doesn't anyone drink their booze one at a time anymore? And the elves here are still squirrely. What's the fun of that? We'll talk later. Counts on seeing you, yeah? Well, now she's all happy and stuff. That's really throwing me off. <laughs> to see me and stuff. Now that things aren't crazy, maybe. Uh, let's see what the uh, uh, detailed drawing of Dagon style that looks almost complete. The nose is especially uh, the nose is especially life and button like. All right. I'm read that. That's okay. Read that. Okay. Hey Iron boss. Ball. Anything, dude? What can you tell me about the Kunari we're Anything? dealing with? These aren't Ben Hasrath. They're specialists working for a Vidasala. Ben Hasrath handle normal security. The Vidasala's people focus entirely on magic. They find it, they study it, they neutralize it. And they must be desperate if they're using illusions. I'd expect them to shatter any mirror they find. I'll talk to you later. Any and I hope I didn't miss anything while rushing through stuff. I really hope I did. But that's always a risk. Thank I might be missing some codexes or something. I don't think I am. I missed one chest for sure, but it had like 200 something gold in it. And anything to read, yeah. And some single thing I'll never use. Barrel removal. Barrels of Gatok have been removed from every wing of the palace. A majority were placed at structural weak points, setting off the charges at a time when the palace was almost fully occupied. And it is expected to be during the last days of the Exalted Council. Could have ended in as many casualties from falling masonry as explosives. All valuable agents are making constant sweeps of the palace to ensure no barrel is missed and that the Kunari attempt to further uh, 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 to no no further infiltration. Brain was a little ahead there. Okay, so there was no one back here, but let's check again because you never know. Can I climb this? I can. So let's just let's just be thorough. Need Nothing me for there. anything? So black wall. Until have later. To go. Take care. Leaner. They have less to say. Could be that they could have other things to say. So if you don't come to all of them right away, you, you always have things you can talk about. But if you're thorough, then it sort of uh, gives you less to say. We'll do uh, Josephine soon. Okay, what's this one? Wager notes. Notes carried back and forth by runners covered in different handwriting. If so many royals weren't in jeopardy, Leonard. I'd say we should let the Chevaliers throw the Inquisition out of the Winter Palace. We're in accord. They puffed up soldiers. Their puffed up soldiers are everywhere. 
one challenged me at the gates because the fool confused my house's mass with a family not even in, not even invited. Why do they think they are in charge if they can't master even basic courtesies? <laughs> Disgusting. I caught an Inquisition soldier and a palace guard in a fist fight. What happened? I stopped the fight, of course. We don't need this exalted council further out of hand. A terrible thought occurs. What if nothing gets decided? What happens to our wager, gentlemen? Make her forbid. If that comes to pass, we can give the royals to that farm your sister runs for retired chargers, Leonard. At least the old war horses won't be left out in the cold. Oh, that's at least nice. Some noble heart in all of their betting. I mean, not that, you know, it's not fine. I'm no, just having fun with these bets. No one's getting hurt. I'm sure it's legal. Now I'm going to go Josephine now. Change my mind. Say what now? Uh, hello. Paper Dog. A collection of letters, invitations, urgent messages, and other sundry papers all addressed to the Viscount of Kirkwall. Someone has folded them into the shape of a Mabari sticking out his tongue. Also, I uh, have to go Everything going all right so far? Yes. We'll talk more another time. I'll be here back. if you need me. After talking to Josephine, I recall seeing uh, something I could read um, in the crafting area. I went there to check on some crafting stuff that I want to talk about when I get there. I was about to craft some new things, but I'm still pretty good with what I got. So here, Josephine. Just Josephine. The Canari will feel the loss of their lyrium. It is not an easy commodity to come by. You've done well. The Exalted Council, meanwhile, has deadlocked. I believe in this you. This is what you do best, Josephine. I should hope so. But eventually, your hand must be at the wheel. You will be called in soon. Move boldly and swiftly, and you may decide the outcome. The world's eyes are on you, my love. Let us remind them how you shine. The other thing was here. I came to check this because uh, I got I pulled this on um, one of the things we completed and one of the things we've been doing around here. So Encore, I've checked it. So it is better than, the, uh, well, no, it's not. So uh, it looks like it could be better, but, and I'll, I'll show you where it is. So this one has more DPS though as a base. Um, metal, leather, cloth, cloth was decent. Cloth, offensive, I did a quick test. It could heal me. On a crazy like 18% like here. I, I'm just gonna show you why, why am I even doing it this way? I could go right here to Drake stone uh, to dragon bone to get me the maximum damage, right? And then this one I would put this this is new. I didn't look at this so a var twill 18% uh, heal on kill. That's massive. That's a massive regen Especially if you have something that then also gets you guard That's crazy. That's crazy. It's awesome for a necromancer. So um I could use this. The, that was the best one I could find. And then we have uh, the dragon webbing, which gives you the crazy critical damage. And then I have this one right here, which um, I, I couldn't really figure out what I wanted to do, but I wanted the tier four. Um, so we have the ice bone here for attack. And we have doo, 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 this one, veil quartz for armor penetration. So I would do armor penetration. That's basically what it would look like. And then I have something here that would do the walking bomb thing, hopefully. But and then I put something on it. But here's here's the, the trick. This this is new. This already comes with on hit. Chance to sing an offensive buff for allies within eight meters. I don't know what this means. But this is curious, is what I would say. It's curious. I don't know what it means though. Lyrium infused staff though, it just allows you to get more base damage. You do this, you get to 136, so an 84 instead of 77. And then you have uh you can scale with this stuff, the critical damage and which is can get pretty high too right that's a tier three so i think i went down here i forget i forget which where it went anyways but um so i think there's a balance there because you get that extra bonus right and i wonder if that's the changing like that's so good that it does make this the best staff in the game but i don't know we have a review uh who am i who am i looking for uh daggers do we have any new daggers i didn't come and check anything else here hakan's mercy sounds like it's old stone stalker blade i think those are the ones i made right this one stone stalker okay so and then we have shield we have no one using a shield nothing new here okay so um i don't know what else uh, is new but that's pretty much it just want to show you there just in case you see something and you want to have some you know want to share some opinions about what you think and why um maybe i should look consider crafting anything different but right now uh because i cleared the last oh, oh yeah. 
I think I'm mistaken eight days. I didn't do three hours of play. I maybe did two hours, of, two and a half hours of play in one hour. I don't remember. But it was fast. Because I, cause I think one of them... Hello! I don't know. I'll, I'll work it out one time at some point. I don't know. I don't know. Inquisitor? Here we go. I feel like maybe I need to have... No, it's obviously like a, something I need to do to get it. I, I was approaching from the front. I could try to approach from the, from the rear of them. Maybe they see me coming and they vanish. It's like, uh, yeah, maybe. I think I have I've been editing. I was editing the last three or four episodes before playing again. And so um, I have noticed that's the only thing that's been the same. The one time I sort of got close-ish to them, I, it was the first time, and it was a first time. So I'll try it. I'll try it. We'll see what happens. Darling, what can I do for you? We'll talk so another long. time. That's out of my derailment. Was that painting tilted? How do I miss these things? Are they new? Are people putting paintings up as we go? Because then that would make me want to scan the entire map more carefully again. No, I fixed the painting. Oh, because I reloaded and did probably because I had to reload and do everything over. Shoot! So I might be missing some of those little bonuses. Ah, damn it, dude. Are you okay, dude? Uh, have you asked the guard for help? I. Are you are you a statue? You're, you're not real. Someone's playing trick. This is Varys. This is Varys trick. Is this now? Licentious gossip. Notes carried back and forth. Brown, okay, have you seen that magnificent creature by the gazebo? Such a powerful frame. When he struts about, it's so charming seeing him behave as if he owned the place. The commander's new dog is precious as well. It's the lively it's the lovely lady Pentagast that caught my fancy. Make her those eyes. Did she ever cast them? your way as if fate would be so kind wow rude all right now we have talked to liliana there's never anything up here for me to never mind <laughs> letter to arl tegan have i been missing this my bad i spoke with relatives on the orlesian side of the family and they also don't know why the inquisition's guards uh, are suddenly everywhere everyone is nervous Maybe now the Winter Palace won't be so sanguine about the Inquisition's forces at this council or the standing army to the east. Did they they did say Trevelyan looks preoccupied. He has certainly spent enough time locked up with his advisors. Everyone's waiting to see what will come. Ban Wharton. Okay, no, this feels like we got triggered with It's been a while since so many gather up in this place. Trigger. Bunch of guards blocking ways to people. Why are they all panicking? Come on, everything's fine. There's nothing to worry about, folks. Oh <laughs> my God, Beric, stop it! Stop it with these uh, sculptures you're putting around just to mess with people. And finally, I knew it was foolish to hope the Exalted Council would go smoothly. How much damage control should we be doing? I've had a few words with Charter. We're preparing additional leverage with the delegates, just in case. Perhaps later, Liliana. I'll be right here if you need anything. Okay. Am I done? I don't know. I don't know. Should I do another round in this place? Change. I mean, it's just attribute bonuses. How many more attribute bonuses do I need? Oh, but I've been getting schematics at the end of them, and then I have a golden nug, and so I can push that to other characters. <laughs> so, uh, probably. I hope everything's okay. Like, I hope I can still. I hope I didn't lose access to those things because I didn't do them first. Uh, I'll do this whole thing again. Oh well. Whoa! What 
bad. Anyone want to say something? Anyone? I hope those stones are still... Um, Look for the Vitasala through an alluvian near a bookshelf. I haven't been reading what those look like. That looks like really cool. okay. Let's read the next one. All right. So before we go in there, uh, this was the tough one here. Let's go to this one. This, which one, which one kicked my ass? Which one kicked, like, which one really kicked my ass? So that's how the Kunari moved the paths. Is it the it's first old. one? Second? The stones remember different ways to be, and it asks them to change. Let's go with your actual armor this time and watch this. Uh, I'm going to do a double check in here. Just in case I've been moving things. I need to check. Permaflame. All nearby enemies are... Oh, I was going to try it because 50% bonus. I switched this out in the previous play, but then I when I replayed it, I didn't put this on. I didn't do any tests. But like, do I do a test now with all of these extra bonuses kicking in? Did I read this? The staff is warm to the touch and fills the ears of whoever carries it with the sound of a furious beating heart. Anyone nearby has the sense that someone else is there, just out of sight or hidden somehow. Fade energy wraps around it, giving the impression that nothing nearby is quite real. See, my, my problem with the way it craft, the crafting is so good that it's so good that, you know, it's so good that it makes like cool things like this. It's got a nice piece of lore there. It's a it's right at the end of the game and this DLC saying it's like it's so significantly under the damage. Uh, it's because I have hold on. It's because I have the corrupting rune. But even then, that's 50, 50 on top of that. No, it's okay. So it's not it's not quite that bad. But you know what I'm saying? It's not exactly what I mean. Look at the one I have. So I don't know. Eight magic and eight willpower. If that sort of and then the critical chance bonus, uh, the chance itself and the damage bonus is is less than the fifty percent. I don't know damage on all fire i don't know i don't know which is better maybe it is maybe it is it's it's i don't know 41 to attack though do i try it uh i want to see how this fight goes without it. i'm debating it too much we're like the same with just the, the armor has changed that's all we have that's different we have this uh, armada knife this is not any bigger what does it does it i hate that i can't read the thing with uh there the queen when i have double dual wheel the queen of the eastern seas has dueled a great many Fools in her day, the seaside, the queen of the eastern seas. Is that Isabel? She she would be the new Armada captains. Armada? Oh, no, no. No, she's a pirate queen. <laughs> uh, the seaside markets of the Amaranthine coast all the way up to Rialto Bay carry any number of knives rumored to be pulled from the ribs of a raider, smuggler, or even Talon of the Crows. To have once left a hand, of a notorious raider captain is a magic worth more than all the enchantments the Fomori combined of the Fomori combined with the valuables. Thanks for nothing. And uh, no one's using oh the cudgel of the bees. I'm keeping this one around. Okay, and then on armor, uh, nothing's new. But let's see. Th dread. Let my enemies see me on the battlefield. Let the dread seep into their bones, knowing their end is nigh for all this moment i am not a man i am a force of nature and the bringer of death <laughs> i like that right up <laughs> i love it um and then everyone else is fine nothing new there accessories did i pick death siphon is what you got super I haven't messed around with this stuff and i feel like maybe i didn't do something here the wear of this and okay the stamina one um after killing an enemy that's what I switched out, right? Gains health and stamina. This would be lower than that. I'm just going to get rid of it. Belt of focus. I am not going to get rid of it. Okay. And then upgrades. Sigil of the Deep Stalker. Okay. Okay, now, now, now we're ready. Now we're ready. Let's do this. Oh, safe. 
Yes, save. Go. It was the one with the Dalish. It was the one that kicked my ass, right? So not this one. It was the second one. Okay, so let's... Wait a minute. What are the was bigger than this? Moldy journals. We saw Volca. They were dragon. Yeah, this one was written all blah, blah, blah. And then it's like, it's like so... The, the idea being, I think, that Van Harrell's people saved that early human. We need to kill them first. Oh, so it was close. Okay, so here we go. Bang. Bang. We all focus on one. I'm shooting at each other. Not fair. And here we go. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna charge into them. I know that's doing mega damage to us. To us, that's a But here it goes. Oh no, they're going down. Oh yeah, I'm just so going down with me just doing the other stuff, so still very impressive. Still very impressive. But potions are a 9 out of 12, I'm dead. I'm just gonna keep that's it. There you go. Time to check. Not yet? That's Somni's back. There. That's not bad. It could have been better. I didn't use any anything. So 7 out of 12. I didn't use any fade magic. Um, could have done better. So I ended with 5 last time. Healing potions, I got 6 this time around. Could have absolutely been better. <laughs> okay. That was amazing. Okay, so we got this done out of the way. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Do some rest, the rest of this stuff here. But it was faster. Fire, fire, pop, right? And now I know the trick, so it's a little bit... I'm at an, I'm at an advantage, because I know I'm going to take out that Rage Demon and end this sooner than later. Um, I can try to see the damage output that's actually going on to see if that does anything. I'm going to try not to use the Fate stuff. There we go. Use one of those instead. Okay, I'm going to try not to use the Fate stuff. We're going to try to do this with... Yeah, just uh, standard attack. Um, and I am going to start to get my Fire them up. Then focus on one. I don't know how to do it. Not that what I said I was going to do. But one is death. Right? He's got this stupid card. I'm just going to next. Like, I'm going to say. Still not doing what I said I was going to do. But I'm going to. Because now I'm like, tempted to just go absolutely against everything that I said. And I'm going to try to get this guy nailed with, uh... Get him while he's... Get him, get him. Just interrupt him. I'm trying to do the opposite because I'm going to see if that, makes, if that makes a difference. He's dead, he's dead. He's done. There we go. So even if I were to do the, 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 the opposite of what I said, I'm still... I dealt with those guys faster with put us in that red star stuff. And then we focus on the other shit faster. Still take still good for him. So look at our health. Still at 5 out of 12, so I didn't have to I didn't exhaust him as a beautiful fade magic. This armor is crazy. This armor is crazy. He's got a barrier up as well. Leave that as fast as possible. Still taking it. Okay, the goal is about to get wrecked. Gonna get brought back by Dorian. Dorian's way too close. There you go, we done. We done. <laughs> what a difference, man. Holy crap. What a difference. Let's move on, shall we? Now we're gonna just wipe this game. Wipe it, I said. Uh, let's do this first. Now, I uh, was looking at this through... Because redoing it, I'm like, do I put this on Cole? Because I was starting to do that. He's got the 30-30. The rings here. Well, 20-20. So, I can get him up to... I thought I was missing something at one point. I thought I messed something up. Where is it? This one? No. I haven't put any of it on. Nope. <laughs> nope, I have not. So, we have... So, if I put this on Bull... I put uh, the 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 bind that guides. He gets the belt as well. And so now we have plus ten to attack, plus ten attack speed, 
plus 10 critical chance. I thought I had three items by now. Did I miss some? Oh, no. <laughs> How far did I roll back? Oh, the hand that cuts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and we have 10% movement speed. But now if I give that all to Cole, I would lose 20% crit. I would also lose my hit points, right, which he sort of needs. And we have a death siphon, which is really good. So he gets his health back and stamina back as he goes, right? So it would possibly not be that good and i'm guessing what it's another ring then the fourth piece we'll find out so when we see the fourth piece we'll decide and we'll go from there i mean maybe it's in the next area or maybe i've left it behind but i'm thinking because this is still going forward we're probably good i'll, I'll panic when it feels like i'm at the end end <laughs> yeah, i don't feel it this could be the last board but it's not because we have that one right down there we have that first mirror at the center it's block to us. That's going to be the Act 3 mirror. So I said this is like feeling like going into Act 3. No, no, no. We're still missing a piece. Because we need to get... So we know there's a Dragon Breath, whatever that's called. Whatever that is, that's going to come into play. So now... What the... Oh, is this the fourth piece? Hold on. Follow the eggs. Mm. Oh, there we go. Ah, yay. <laughs> uh, so we still need what uh, is a narrative pattern I call this still need the thing that's supposed to be a counter to whatever the big threat is. So there's that. Well, I mean, we know this. We know that's mythic. Now, I mean, it's representative. The dragon is a guardian or a thing of mythic. What the? There were two mirrors up here, though? Is that? It's got to be important, though, right? Pile of bones. People got stranded, maybe? Okay. Well... Here we go. We're gonna. Oh shoot! Now we're definitely not. Now we're definitely not in a good place to. Um, Cause I'm gonna. Now I'm gonna be out. I'm gonna have to use the fate stuff at this point. The fate stuff. The uh, focus stuff. We're almost maxed out here too. This has gotta be it, right? This feels a little dungeony. This isn't where they ran though. Or is it? Or is it? Maybe? Okay, Bull's gonna be fine. Crumpled page. This note is written in an unknown language, but the portly figure at the bottom with a ring of keys and an unflattering scowl is likely a jailer who once walked these flagstones. He's been drawn cross-eyed with wiggly lines radiating from his backside. Oh, he's farting? <laughs> is this a joke? Is this just Orlesian humor? Is it Orl... What the... I've never seen that one before. More giant serpent-esque like that myth, as opposed to dragon, which is also recognized as a serpent. More Luvians here shattered all over the place. Hmm. Okay, this looks like a fight zone. So let me just. I got guard up. Hmm. I could. I could try to do. Mark of the Rift. Rift. Aegis. I can do an Aegis. Let's see what it is. Let's go. Demons. Wreck it when you are. Exploded. So, hmm. pure essence. That was underwhelming. Compared to the last ones, if this is the same, is this my last piece? Second, four, second ring. Mythal statue and oh, oh, medium armor. So it is for rogues. Okay. What is this? Mm. And then the taken shape, which, but then. Oh, I can make, and then I can make, oh, so if I want to put this on bull, I could. Oh, that's a shield. I can't. <laughs> okay, 
call it is. Uh, this, this, Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. I think I was reading things wrong. Coroner. Notes on methods of enchantment. Notes on the fourth attempt. The weave goes smoothly, bound tightly between many items. The stress on the energy produces finer results than a singular enchantment. Using up the last of the stock was well worth it, as I explained to it as a as I explained to it as a courtesy before final work began. Explain to it. Adjustments to the underlay were a great success and will allow the recipe to be made with materials taken from lesser animals if the need arises. Below the letter, possibly in lieu of a signature, is the stamp of a stylized Hala head. Taken together, diagrams and ratios carefully inked at the bottom of the last of these notes could be turned into a schematic that replicates the creation of these artifacts. I was reading this wrong. I think. Let me check this again. No, no, okay, never mind. The other one just has a bunch of stuff on it. This is 10% crit, 10% attack, 20% critical damage. Then you stack, and then. And this one threw me off because I had multiple items, and I thought maybe I was. Okay, then we have this one. That looks so cool. <laughs> it, look, it looks neat. <laughs> I like it. Oh, is that what those guys were that appeared? They had this on? Maybe? I don't know. Okay. 277 on a medium armor is going to be better than his heavy armor? The leather of this armor gives off a faint living heat. It is heavier than it looks, but the weight and warmth are somehow comforting. The armor makes little noise in motion, and after a surprisingly short time, wearing it feels quite natural. Damn. So it gets plus six attack, another plus six crit uh, chance, 11% crit damage, 78 maximum health, which will offset Cole losing his thing. And then it gets attack speed, movement speed, healing on hit, and the taken shape, whatever that means. Okay. No, I like my bull. The, the, oh, <laughs> looks so good. Oh my gosh. twenty! I'll lose that 20 dexterity though, man. <laughs> man, man. Uh, abilities cost 20%. Yeah, but it's still better. It's way better. It's it's going on. Sorry, Cole. Not Simon. What do I have to apologize for? You look freaking kick-ass. You look like Vincent. He's my favorite character in Final Fantasy okay uh let's switch things out let's go back uh oh well that's gonna put me in an awkward in possible possible awkward circumstance because i oh i like the kid i like the kitty necklace on cold anyway uh, on bowl anyways it's so no problem but i think i sold some stuff that was meant <laughs> that was supposed to do that no, no awkward uh urgency Large boost to attack speed. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, no, that was good. That was your belt. Okay, we're still good. Maybe on the reload, I actually salvaged the stuff I thought I lost because I didn't go back and repurge. I did purge, but I didn't. It doesn't. Okay, don't worry about it. Okay, and then. Mm, no, because now I'm, I'm down a ring. Okay, so hopefully we'll get this back here. So we have the hand. Okay, put that on. We put. Just a reminder again. Again, but that will stat. Okay, that's fine. Let's stop asking questions. Uh, the bind. Da, 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 da. Okay. Okay. Let's see what that does to things. And then let's go back to bull. And hopefully we have an uh, crit. Yeah. Oh, you know what? That's fine. That'll work out. I think I'm starting to boost up his crit and his tree. I think. I think that was the last stuff I did. And that, that does it. Hopefully I can re well even if i can't recolor this this it's red and black that's because i here's the thing i can't find black and like for some reason you can't get black just black you can't get it you get an off black i don't like it so i would go black red if i could but you can't oh, oh good. Looking good looking good let's go we are ready to tie this up man How we doing? We're still good. So good. We clean things up. We're going to. The, uh, let's see what this next area is all about. 
Jeez. It's precarious, man. Hope you guys are behind me. I'm uh, near certain you guys are either walking on air or uh, constantly falling behind me. I just can't see Okay. Shape. Not that I'm worried. I'm not worried at all anymore. Not at all anymore. Was that a door? What? Was that a door? It was a stone. It was the opposite of a door. It was a complete solid object that. Oh, this brings me back to the horrific. Oh my god. Memories of soul Alluvian marked by a bookshelf. This should be it. Good. Time to get some answers from the Vitasala. In Skyrim, which I will bring to the channel one day. Uh, books in the crossroads. A book from the crossroads. Its pages are filled with numbers and letters splattered around the page in random order. Like writing in a dream, every other book on its shelf is filled with the same nonsense script. In certain lights, in certain lights, the letter, the letters appear to shift slightly out of the corner of the eye. Okay. Communal journal. This slim journal was tucked into a bookshelf in the crossroads, as if left for someone to find. Each entry is in a different hand. I've dropped rocks off a dozen ledges. I've never heard one hit the bottom. This place has no bottom. Do not be here if you have no tasks here. An entry in Kunlap follows. Emmet missed the rent rendezvous. He said he was scouting the lower ledges on orders. Another entry in Kunlap follows. Understood. No one go near that mirror. There. Map of the crossroads. This unsigned note was tucked into a bookshelf in the crossroads as if left for someone to find. Do not stray from the marked paths. There are many mirrors. Some lead to danger. Do not linger longer than you must. At the bottom is a crude map of floating islands, some of which seem impossible to reach. Well, we're absolutely going to touch this mirror. Oh, that shows us where we're going. That didn't... It is. Is this some ass. sort of it's old big elven big. library? It definitely saw a massive magical backlash some time ago. Let's hope we can track down the Vidasala in all this. Upside down. Vir Durthara. Signs of victory. The pages of this book, Memory, describe a monument made in a single afternoon by a thousand thousand toiling servants swarming over a lump of fallen stone as large as a collapsed mountain. By the end of the day, the stern figure of Elgernon stares down into a valley carved out from the foothills of the rock. The slaves have disappeared. Light radiates from the Eidolon's narrowed, narrowed eyes and its open, snarling mouth. It's an Eidolon a dragon. Hail Elgernon, first among the gods. Mark his victory eternal again words so if Elgernon was just an elven magister mortal first among the gods it was the first one to tap into some magic spirits uh, that because if they had if there's a parallel going on with you know even the ma even the magisters at Tevinter, they heard the whispers of the old gods and then they got or the forgotten one forbidden ones however that however that all matter because i have ideas and it, i don't think it's as clear as the lore has stated i don't care what the lore says. <laughs> they can do whatever so i'm going to go with my own theories and and so if, they, if there's a parallel here it would have to be some repetition so it's that the elven gods have figured out some way to tap into that sort of connection that sort of relationship whatever that relationship was defined as and then these first ones were able to become more powerful magisters mortal or not but they still had to tap into something that gave them the amount of power that made people respect them as gods whether mortal or not uh, they were so powerful that they were beyond anything by comparison so so in that description they were gods they were gods amongst men and um, now, whether we use then turn the, the like the word as yeah, but what were the gods? Gods? Well, I don't think gods gods existed in the settings. I think gods, the idea of gods in this setting, are ideas. And I I didn't think that would be my theory for the whole Dragon Age universe, the lore that 
when I played Somli, Somli, it's just it was one of those triggers. I forget when it happened, but I recall that it happened in this playthrough where for me to understand something that I either read or I was in a banter or something, for me to understand something as Somli, I had to bring in the philosopher Berkeley uh, to figure out, like, so that I could have, like, ideas of ideas, ideas, and the ideals. And once I had that in my head as a foundation, it's just sort of I, everything developed on top of that foundation, whether right or wrong. And it doesn't matter uh, right now until I'm proven explicitly wrong, which I, maybe this is trying to do. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be ignorant to what they're saying. Because if I just listen to what this is saying, then that's how the, you know, narrative will flat foot you, is that there's, there could be red herrings. And I joke about that in the comments. I, because I, I think you're, you're, I mean, it's true. They are, they're, they're, the game is telling you, no, 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 you've been wrong. But at the same time, like, but no, 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 no. Because anyone who takes on this franchise after this game, they could be all new writers. And all of the, anyone can take this in whatever direction they want when you have a group of another, let's say, 12 writers in a room figuring out how to build on top of this lore. They, they're all coming from this with whatever, like, my, like, if I was a writer in that room, my ideas would then be valid. They wouldn't just be ideas that it's the speculation that means nothing because I'm just a fan with a theory, right? It's like anyone can be a fan with a theory that gets a job at Bioware and then writes for them. And so all of this could become factual because you just use things that came before. And as long as you can find evidence in the lore to support things, you can always pivot on other lore. And because this, this, this whole setting has positioned things in a way where uh, anything could be false. Anything could be a reinterpretation. There's that big ga gapping hole, gaping hole in history where things are missing. Uh, things are now getting redefined. Words are not what we what they mean, right? And so misinterpretations happen along the way. And so you can play with all of that. All of that becomes uh, amorphous. Um, and so that's what I find the, mo the most intriguing part of this is that this lore is not telling you explicitly what things are. This lore is giving you just enough so that any fan can go out there and create headcanon for their playthrough. And if I played this a different way with a different character, with different perception, different background, right? I would, that character might inform an entirely different world state um, and dynamic and cosmology than I have come up with with this setting. So, but stuff like this is important because if Elgernon was the first among the gods, then okay, he's the all father, or I mean, there's an all mother. I'm just gonna go with the Norse thing. All father. He's the he's the Odin of the set, the Zeus of what? Come on, Odin. He's the Odin of the setting, not Greek myth, Norse. Um, we have the Fenrir. We so that you know, well, the the equivalent, the parallel there. Uh, which was the son of the god of mischief. So then you're like, oh my god, even as I said that, oh my god, even as I said, see, this is what I mean. So when I'm talking out loud, sometimes I stumble on things because Razakel has been, she was in the last DLC. It's like this game is sort of already seeding a foundation for what could potentially be next. And if Razakel is the last slumbering god that has not been awakened, has not been brought into the world, could be something. And I, I don't know, I don't remember her lore, like straight up, but if she was represented mystery or mystery, not so much mystery, but mystery, and Loki was sort of lies, right? And, and Loki was the parent, he was the father of Fenrir. Fenris. There's a bunch of different spellings, different name. Right? Um, so is there a connection there? I don't know. I don't know, but now we have three. We have the All Mother, we have Mystery, and we have essentially not so much the Loki, but what I the offspring of a of, of Loki. Which is the protector of the end of the world. That's what Fenris is in Norse mythology. He, Fenris is going to be there, right? <laughs> Parallel. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Because there's going to be more. There's going to be more that's going to come up. I, I, I'm, I was at the end of the episode. But damn. <laughs> okay, maybe I won't push that for. Okay. Ooh, the forbidden one. <laughs> like I said, there's going to be more. Let's take it easy. So, so, Roll is back. Virgisar. <laughs> Exile of the Forbidden Ones. Oh my god, I thought this was going to be a loose end. The pages of this book, Memory, show the blazing forms of the Yvonneurs, banishing a howling spirit from the reaches of the Fade that touch their lands. Howling spirit like a wolf? I, I don't know. Uh, a voice rings out, stern and imperial. Oh my god. 
there's some stuff I have not said ever. I'm probably going to have to say it now because this is probably going to confirm it. For abandoning... Well, nothing confirms anything. For abandoning the people in their time of greatest need, for casting aside form to flee to where the earth could not reach, we declare <gasps> Zevin... Zevin... Zevin Keg. This is going to pull on some memories that are not going to be easy. And others of her ilk exiled from the lands of the Evanuris. <laughs> Beware. Their familiarity with shape allows them to travel paths unaided. They may be bound, but only the protection of your gods will fully shield you from their malice. They are forbidden from the earth. That is our right. Okay, here we go. Thought this was going to be for post game. I'm going to have to start talking some stuff. Not all. So here's the thing. I've been trying to really keep because this is the important this is the vital key because so two reasons they're rare rarely very rarely touched upon when they are touched upon it was in dragon age 2 and it was sort of in passing it was in codexes that were scattered around it was those guys i forget what they, they were called but they were it was like a group of adventurers that were trying to they were trying to figure out if the forbidden ones were the forgotten ones. There was, and I don't know if that was just if something someone said in the comments that that was because there was some miss. No, I think the codex itself then addresses it and it's like, because they refer to them as the forgotten one, ones, but it's written in a way where it's like there's some confusion there. And I think that might have been in canon lore that the, the adventurers were confused about. Are they the same thing or different? We know there are four of them, and I know this from the comments that because people have reminded me along the way that. We have seen all of them except one. Very important, man. That's very important. I don't need to be explicit about this. You can draw your own conclusions for now. But I'm just going to be explicit right now. Okay, the one that's missing is the one that... I forget the name of it, but it's the one that... It's, isn't it doesn't have a bunch of eyes, isn't it? Or no, the chaotic... Oh my god. This is not the formless one. The formless one. I didn't even have to get around to thinking. The formless one. And the formless one, if we think about from a Lovecraftian angle, and there's the formless one in the revelations of the Bible, there's something that came to a formless one, something of many eyes. It may, I think it's something like a thousand one eyes. I don't know. I might be. It was a long time ago. Like third, I was in my teens when I was like dissecting the revelations. It's This is. It doesn't go back that, back that far. I've been. I have maybe a compulsive disorder when it comes to things. Okay, I'm joking, but okay, stop. Um, so, when we think about the amorphous one, <laughs> there's this other demon that's like this blob thing. I drew it for this illustration for this fan book for a Ravenloft setting thing. My God, there's so many connections. Like 15 years ago. So, the thing with many eyes, the gibbering mouth, the gibbering mouth, doesn't stop. And D&D, &D, stop. That one's missing. That one's missing. So, part of me... And I, I, I don't think this, because I need to go back and reaffirm things. And I, so I don't think this is, I'm not solid on this one, but I'm willing to go down the path of investigation that maybe, maybe the formless one, I'm even afraid to say things like, please don't spoil it. Please, if this is actually, because I have, I, I have a feeling I still have a oh, way to go a couple hours to go and I'm not going to finish it in one setting. I don't think, please don't spoil it right now. If it's confirmed, maybe the formless one has something to do with Van Harrell. That's what I'm, that's maybe. And so, um, when there was a pause when I looked at his card and I saw that figure and there was like, like, uh, like smoke or tendrils coming off of him and then turning into that massive wolf hovering over him. That was what I was thinking. Even then I was like, something's connecting to this mortal like something is bound and so then i have the idea of like he was the first one to actually have figured out how to bind like he was a mortal that figured out how to bind a spirit what spirit if those spirits didn't exist and i do believe like spirits that got formed because the idea ideas became these powerful spirits and so the 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 elven gods that the the, the the elven magisters i believe them existing 
created spirits that did have the power of gods that they, they were they were powerful enough to be these entities because it was like a lot of people started thinking and believing in these magisters being these godlike beings and then as we know those ideas do become forms of things and then those ideas can become self-motivating and stuff like that if they get powerful enough and they be, they be, can become anyways godlike spirits right spirit beings that then use people as vessels but Fenrir is different <laughs> Because because if Fenrir came first in continuity, that would mean that something bound to him, something he had some something, and he, if he was the first one to figure out, figure that out, my head immediately went that there is one forbidden one that's missing, and so um, I think the lore is near explicit that the forbidden ones are just these entities of pure malice and evil. It sort of suggests here too, right? Beware. Their familiarity with shape allows them to travel paths unaided. So it looks like they, they like they, they, we're, this really does feel sort of Cthulian. Like it, these are like the elder, these are elder beings. These are beings before anything, like beginning of time type things that were those four. For casting aside form to flee to where earth cannot reach. They may be bound. So that's a, that's a very demon-y concept. But only the protection of your gods will fully shield you from the mad some magic because magic was ba basically a way to bind them or something. Okay. Um, oh, the many eye things, all of the murals. That's also where it sort of started. The motif of many eyes really, really stuck with me because of the idea of the formless one. And in my head, and I don't have a description of the formless one. We haven't encountered it. I don't have a description. But the formless one to me is a many eyed being, and I'm gonna go with that motif right now. And I'm seeing it on walls, and then I'm seeing. Even some like like a solace or pre-solace, whatever he was, with the wolf pelt on him, he's got three eyes on each side. And then we see murals where there's like these creatures with multiple eyes. And I, I can't help see those connections. Okay, there's the, the second rant of the beginning of this. I'm not going to get through. I'm going to go through. There's going to be a third rant. Wait for it. Homecoming. The pages of this book, Memory, describe an elf approaching a city of glass spires. So deeply the blue, they ache. Okay, hold on. It's not the Golden City, maybe. Maybe. The city's outskirts are wrapped in lakes of mist, and figures stroll along the pearly, glowing stripes. And figures stroll along the pearly, glowing strips as if they walked on solid ground. Groves of trees woven into enormous parks shelter elves in quiet hollows while other elves walk below a river below a river below a, below a river churning along an invisible shoulder the, the upside down the upside down i saw it in the distance this would have been one of those post game th things i was going to talk about this is me the third rant i know it this is going to end the episode i'm gonna have to talk about it now i'm gonna have to touch it because this is like it's all coming together <laughs> The scene hums with quiet talk and contentment as the memories maker as the memories maker reaches the city's gates already thrown open wide as the memories maker. So this is equivalent to uh, fade like already because the memories maker so like there are beings that craft memory <gasps> just like there are shapers that craft the physical. I'm going to go with my duality thing again. Now we have titans that craft the physical, the red. We have these. I don't know. They didn't give me, they didn't give me a name, did they? Proto-elves? Proto-forms? Evanurian? But no, because they're just more. So I'm thinking like there has to be a being now that can craft the memories. The intangible, the blue. Okay, let's, let's talk about this upside down world. It's upside down stuff. That's crazy. That's crazy. So this, this, of course, um, they touched in on this with. I'm gonna pull back just in case I'm triggered. I'm gonna add the episode. But they touched on this right with the descent DLC, because we went through those four. And I talked about it last episode. Those four layers that eventually got us so deep into. Uh, into that into the underground that we breached into kind of this heart the heart almost, literally like uh, of, the, of a titan um, so and even in that progress we went from 
what what was the deep roads which is like things carved out of earth it was very earth based and then we go a level deeper there's some magma involved there's things are on fire um so it's like the heat plane it's fire we go down a level we have these oh these an ocean little underground ocean smashing against rocks it's called i believe that was the level called the abyss i haven't gone back there violet but i think it was and then we go below the water and we get to sky um, and so all of a sudden it was a reversal. It's almost like imagine there was like a disc world and you're at the top and that's like where all the material stuff is happening. That's where Thetis is happening. And then we go through the, the layers and then it, it, it reverses. It, it's friggin literally reversed right now. We're looking at something that's literally reversed. And so it's the idea that below that sky in theory would be another sun and so then you have the myth of Elgernon and the whole put down to the ground well I'm like is it though because now it could just be that he's on the other side uh, and he, he's still a sun for all intents and purposes if that's the representation I'm not I'm, sh I'm sure it's symbolic but you know what I'm saying he just he went to the other side and then so there's like two races that there's like almost two like realities that were exi in existence and so something happened that al that allowed them to kind of merge uh, which would be whatever caused I think um the big boom event oh my gosh and now we're seeing this that's this is because you know what man am i looking up am i is there a titan in the middle of that you know i don't know why couldn't like everything's mixed up all right so with that that's one of my theories i've got two I'll just say it. the other one is the hollow world. That's the idea that there's like a hollow world theory. These are both concepts, by the way, that exist in fantasy. And so it's 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 not me just like put like it's I'm me pulling on ideas that already exist. So the hollow world idea is of course that below the Earth's surface there is a hollow world. And so uh, and then in the middle of it is some energy source, or whatever it could be another equivalent of it could be Earth's core. It could be whatever the ha whatever's floating in the middle. That's your sun, and it's you know and whatever. And so. The hollow world is that there's something there's an ex there's stuff built on the inside of the world and gravity is opposite right holy crap okay now you've got an update um as to where things will go post game and i will catch you in the next episode don't forget to explore engage and inspire everybody peace